Well, hello boys and girls, we are back again with another video. And guess where we are today? We are in London. So, I found this abandoned tramway. Unfortunately, we can't get in. We do an our way, but there's no way I'm going in at Matt Williams style today, I'm sorry to say. But, I will show you the entrance. And you can see the, the wall of it there. We will go and have a little look on the... I think there is a crossing. Uh, do I ever care about crossings? Nah. Let's go have a little look. So, this is the abandoned tramway. And as I said, I do know how to get in, but I'm not willing to today as I'm on a work do in London. Unfortunately. Oh, just hit my phone take a couple of pictures let's go have a look at the um, gated entrance at the front if we know it's gated because we've already looked Boo. but there's no way I'm lifting a drain cover up in the middle of the street just to go down there and have a look I'm sorry people if I weren't here for work do maybe I would Big fencing around it, it's really big. Oh wow, the tram tracks are still there. That's pretty cool. Big old building with graffiti on, just in case anyone doesn't actually know where this is. Can't miss it, it's in the middle of London. So this was an original tram tunnel. And there we have it, boys and girls. Ooh. If you're lucky, I might take you down and have a look at the grate, but maybe we'll see what happens. So, that's the abandoned train tunnel, tram tunnel even. I don't think I can, you can see anything if I zoom in, it's too dark. But yeah, that's, that's your tunnel, boys and girls come back to see if I um, show the way. Bye! So this is one of the exits for the underground tram tunnel. You can't see too much through the grate. Unfortunately again it is locked and very sketchy because we're in a public area. But yeah. I'm going to go and um, see if I can get a better picture of the steps. So, come back to see more. Bye for now. Hello, me again. Yeah, so under these grates, not, this isn't the ones that I've seen people go down, but there are some steps. I don't know if you can see them through the grates but yeah there is definitely steps there and the next lot of grates is the one where the entrance is on <coughs> this is in the middle of a road so probably not a good idea to try and get down there this one's actually got netting on it I suppose to stop people chucking stuff down it well, let's just make sure there's no traffic while we walk to the next ones. As I said, these are in the middle of the road, so I wouldn't advise anyone to try and get down there. But hey, it's the entrance. And you never know, I might do it one day. Just not today. I just can't get arrested today, unfortunately. And I'm doing this the completely wrong way, so it's going to look odd in my video. So I'm going to stop and record the roadway. Hello, boys and girls, me again. Right, so we're now coming up to where the entrance of the tram tunnel is. And like I said, I'm not going down there today. No intentions of it whatsoever. As you can see, it's in the middle of a busy main road. There is way too much traffic, and considering it's like two o'clock in the morning. <coughs> so, here it is. 
We've just done the other one, but I recorded it the wrong way round. I will include it in the videos. I will see if we can get some sort of light going on. There's some sort of netting in there, as you can see. But one of these grates does lift up, and there is steps in there. And that's the entrance. Oh, I don't know if you can see anything in there. You can just about make up the steps. But yeah, that is where a certain person came in to the tram. And the tram is just up here. We'll go back and we'll say hello to it so we can show you how close we are compared to the tram. I'm just walking casually in the middle of the road, in the middle of London, it's fine. Hi bus. Yeah, you know, get funny people, you get them funny looks as you're walking around. There's no air vents that I've seen though, unless some of these drains used to be air vents. But I haven't seen any events. So you can't actually see down these drains. There's no more grates though. So that's three possible entrances to these tram tunnels. Might come up tomorrow and make another video on them just to get a different aspect maybe maybe cut the two together oh, try not to get run over I wonder if McDonald's is still open could always go get a coffee nah we'll go back to the hotel and make a coffee there's a phone box and we're going to walk along the other side because we walked along this side earlier so we're going to walk along this side once we can actually cross the road and we shall have a little look actually we might just get this end of it first because it is quite cool I'm itching to go down there I really am but I can't I really can't I'm having to talk myself out of it at the moment plus I'm on my own so that would make it a little bit more awkward I'm only just around the corner from the hotel now. Hey, okay, and there's the back of the bit. I have no idea why I'm filming in wide. There we go. Oh, that's better. Take my finger away from the lens, that might help. But yeah, that's the. back of him, he's going to try and get a quick photo well there's no cars and then we're going to cross over to where that phone box is and show you the other side actually we might just go for a look here through the gate again because yes, this, you know, you all know this place fascinates me I'm sorry, it's underground and there's something I can't get into, some good. And there we go again. It's really cool. Thing that I will probably not see again for a while. So let's wait for this traffic so we can cross over. It's very heavily gated at the end. And so the only way down are through them grapes. And oh, I just can't risk it today. Tonight. Anytime. So there we go. There's the, um... Sorry, I'm just trying to get back and take a good picture of it all. Because it's, like, so long.
bloody massive. It really is. But yeah, that's... So yeah, so far I've found the abandoned station I wanted to find and the tram. And now I've just got to decide whether I want to go to some mansions or not. I haven't decided yet. Just depends on what time I get out my course tomorrow. It's quite cool. There's box. Hello, post box. But yeah, that's um, the abandoned tramway. That apparently has cameras up everywhere. But as we know, people have been in. And as you know, I've shown you how to get in. But like I said, it is very sketchy. If you want to give it a go, give it a go. But if you get in, because I've told you where the inside, where, how, how to get in. Make sure you tag me, at least. Because, you know, it's just a done thing to do. Right, I'm gonna go take a photo of this post box, this post box, phone box over the road, because I have an obsession with taking phone boxes. And then I suppose I better go back to the hotel. Oh, I don't know if I wanna go back yet. <laughs> There's so much to see. Maybe I'll just go down to... <laughs> no, can't go there now. None of the trains are running. I'm not walking a two-mile... A two-hour, five-mile walk. As much as I like my abandoned mansions, yeah. In the middle of London, where I don't know where I am. Probably not a good idea. Here's the phone box. Right, so... On that note... Pretty little fame box. I'm going to say goodbye. And, um, right, fine. Might add some more to it, might not. Take care for now. Bye, bye. Love you all. Bye.